Yes, I'm ready. So now what we're going to do is I want you to alternate sides. I want you to see, I want you to go ahead and engage all the di actively engage all the diaphragms in the arms and legs. Use all the diaphragms in the central body. Obviously, you start with these and recruit all of these actively. Go ahead and start doing that. And after you have engaged one side, I want you to uh, relax and engage the other side. So, on your next inhalation, pull the toes up with enthusiasm. Engage all the muscles of the upper extremity, all the way up to the top. Empty all the way back down to the bottom. And now I want you to, to, to switch it over to this side, the left side, and inhale all the way up to the top, empty all the way down to the bottom. Now I want you to notice that you can preferentially fill one side of the body, right? Like your body's made out of two tubes, which it is. It's called Ida and Piccolo. So, I, th I think it is. That's what I think. I might be wrong. Uh, let me be very humble about that because, uh, but this is my impression that, uh, that you're able to access these tubes through your diaphragms. But you can feel that one side of your gut body gets bigger and longer, and then it shrinks and gets, it gets and collapses, and then the other side does. So now our, our, our next fun thing that we're going to do, I want you to just go ahead and just fill this side and empty it, okay? So go ahead and engage the foot, the arm, all the way up to the top and empty it. And now what I'm going to do on your next exhalation, so fill it again and empty, I'm going to move your leg up here and I want you to just let it be relaxed. So go ahead and open your eyes for a second. I'm going to move your leg up here and then when you, um, as you exhale, and when we get to your end range of motion, what I want you to do is re-engage every muscle in the leg, but don't try to straighten the knee, don't try to straighten the hip. Just fill the leg up with breath by engaging all the muscles in this position. And I want you to see if you can use that to move your leg up high. So go ahead and inhale, fill up here. Good. And then as you exhale, I'm going to move your leg for you. Relax. And then when we get up here, I want you to, when you're ready, inhale, lift the toes up, and see if you can loft the knee. You feel that, that how you can fold the leg up a little bit with your breath? Mm -hmm. Then let's take it back down. So you're gonna hug the exhalation with your with your diaphragm, with all of your diaphragms. And then inhale, fill up with it straight. Good. And then when you exhale, we'll bring it up here. And then when you're ready, inhale and use that to open your eyes. Use that to bring your knee to my hand. And do you feel how that almost feels effortless? Mm -hmm. Like it really is floating. It'll feel like it even more so if you lift your toes. So let's do that one more time. So go ahead, fill up. And then as you empty, we'll come over here. When you're ready to fill, lift the toes up. <laughs> That's so fun, isn't it? Okay, good. So what we're trying to show, start to show you here is that the body has a hydraulic system contained with it. There's something that my teacher Dharma Bodhi mentioned this hydraulic system, and, and, I, uh, and, and I, I'm pretty sure this is what he was talking about. Um, yeah, you like that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I like that. We can actually use this hydraulic system like a second musculoskeletal system to support us and generate power and motion with a level of integrity that goes way deeper than any type of core. What we think of as the core, this takes us into the 